Hi, this is Teresa Florette, aka Tweet Tweets Art. And the Wig Whisperer. I'm also the Wig Whisperer. And Eyelash Whisperer. Eyelash Whisperer. Because my eyelashes are up. I like blue. <coughs> so do you. Either way, there it is. But what I came back to tell you was. As a wig whisperer, yeah, this is a ponytail that I got, and uh, it was super curly. It has no combs. Uh, it has like a little netting. With a ponytail, there's no combs. The only way you're going to get this thing stick up on your head is hairpins, and that's what I do the best. Anyway, so I do that a lot. So there it is. I don't know if you can see it there. It's a big point. So, and, and the last time you saw it, I had it all the way out in the front, and some on the side. And it looks cute like people like it. It looks cute like that, too. Either way, it's a big old curly ponytail. That's what it is, ponytail. But what I came back and tell you was, I want you to see something. Because uh, as some of y'all know, I'm learning how to do things again. Um, I'm learning how, whoops, I never had to learn how to dress again. I mean, put it like this. My style is getting better. And it was pretty good, in my opinion, back in the days, not long ago, last year. But this year, it's even better because I'm doing something different. I, can, I won't be able to stand up and show you. I could if I wanted to. I, I just, I'm just not going to do it today. Anyway, but I will show you my boots. I haven't, some of y'all, if you listened to me before in last summer, or some summer before that, had heard that I really like cowboy boots. I didn't want to pay five or six hundred dollars, even a thousand dollars for some cowboy boots. But there was one pair in the, I think it was Dallas, yeah, Dallas, that I actually had to write down. And I never got them. But it's not that I couldn't, I just didn't. I, I would have to go all the way back to Dallas or call them and say, hey, can you send me the, the boots? You know, either way, I found these. Look, look, look. Look at that. Let me see if I can get the other boot. Other boots in the dark. So that's two boots. They are size seven and a half. I have one pair of socks on with it, and they feel they're a little bit loose. Yeah, I guess it really depends on the shoemaker. You know, either way, um, feeling good. I put them on a few hours ago. Oh, well, let's say about five o'clock. And I've been wearing them since five o'clock. It is now, uh, I would say. Oh, 10.30, almost 10.30. That's five hours and some change without, you know, wearing the, the shoes I wore yesterday, which is, I'll have to show you that later. But it's a pair of gym shoes with um, ammo print designs on them. Not the most comfortable thing, but they were they were when I, when I first got them. But... You know, I've been feeling the bumps and lumps toward my knees a bit because of uh, how I use those shoes a lot. So, uh, yeah, I have a, an eye on a, a, a Snickers. I'm not really a Snickers person. I'm looking at a Snickers over here. Sometimes I just want a little piece of chocolate or something. I need to stay away from all that stuff. Either way, let's go back to the subject. The shoot, the boots. So I've always wanted, these cowboy boots cost, is it 21 or 27? I think it's 27 with tax. Whatever it was, it wasn't much. And it's from Ross, R-O-S-S. And they were just beautiful. Let me look, let you look at it one more time. Oh. They're little shouties. 
Shawdy. It's S H A W D Y S. Shawdy. Hey, Shawdy. <laughs> That's what they are. The shorties, aka Shawdy. <laughs> cowboy boots. Nani's good cowboy hat. Yeah. Let me give me a cowboy hat. <laughs> uh, I know you probably think, well, whoever put it like this, I, I like, um, this is beautiful, different things. And a cowboy hat is a beautiful and different thing. And no good thing will the Lord withhold from them that walk uprightly. And that's why I like my cowboy hats. I got my little, yeah, but I'm going to have to get one. I had one before, but I wasn't feeling it as a cowboy hat. And uh, I found if I had to go all the way to Texas to find one. So that last one at that last store, it didn't cost that much. I think it was 30-something, 30 30-something 30 dollars or something. It was pretty nice. Not my first choice of hat, but it was a cowboy hat from a cowboy boot store in Dallas, Texas. So anyway, I'm getting tired and sleepy. I'm getting ready to head in. And... Um, mm -hmm. Out of here, in and there. Yeah, I'm getting tired. <sighs> mm -hmm. I have the peace of God on me. The peace of God which passes all, passes all understanding keeps my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. And that's why I'm peaceful today. Now, yesterday I was just as peaceful and the day before that. But uh, this, this tonight I'm going to give me a lot of rest. Because I made sure before... You know, sometimes you need to, you know, you need to set things up so that when you come home or when you come where, wherever the place is you're sleeping, that uh, things are ready so you can get a lot of rest. And I'm learning to do that very much. And uh, you know, I'm learning how not to clutter things, which is, it's been a, a lifelong journey right there. Not to, not to clutter and, and, and throw away things that I'm not using or... Um, really, really make a decision. Hey, do I really need this? I haven't used it in a year or two, or maybe two months. Either way, it's a long time. So, do I need it? I don't know. So, I had to ask myself that question every single day. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes I sit there and think about it as I'm cleaning up one area of my life. Think about that question. Do I really need this or that in my life? But whatever God puts in my life has for me. What God has for me is for me. And whatever he puts in my life, whoever he puts in my life, that's for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love God. Can't see him. He's been helping me all these years. Since 1998, oh, obviously before that, obviously before that, I, according to the word, word of God, it says, you know, he was doing all these things, and making all these plans for you and all that before the foundations of the world. And of course, I'm not saying the whole scripture right, but either way, it is what it is. And look it up. It's in the Bible. Just look it up. The Bible. <laughs> God is not trying to hold nothing back from you, by the way. He is not. He's not mad at you. He wants you to come to repent and turn from your, turn from your wicked ways. Hey, that means everybody got something to, to repent about. They think about it. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm no exception? Yes, I have things to repent about. And it's not fun. Yeah. But either way, um, just want to say good night. 
Jesus loves you and he never fails. And if everybody else fails you, Jesus never fails. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.